I had steady job with all the benefits, like health insurance, paid vacations, holidays, and even sick days, actually. But even with all of that, I knew this job really wasn't for me, so I quit. Look, you probably saw some of these videos on YouTube of some successful CEO or manager of a company quitting $200,000 a year job just to pursue their influencer's journey and now they're making $1 million a year. Well, this is definitely not one of the stories. This is a story of average salary union worker working in New York City and then quitting this job to pursue my more creative side. So this is my little story why I decided to quit this job and perhaps to never come back to any 9 to 5 job again. Okay, so for you to completely understand why I decided to quit this job, I think it's only proper to back up in time a little so you will know exactly the reason why I decided to quit the job even though I really needed that salary. So when I came to US with my two younger brothers that was in 1992 my father by the way was already here since my parents are divorced now we didn't really know any English per se and my father obviously wanted to continue our education and send us to school so yes he was able of course to send my two brothers to school however me being the stubborn head I actually didn't want any further education since I already finished the high school in Poland you know to start making the green right <laughs> so yes it was kind of silly decision but I actually started to work now the problem is without any English and not many skills either so long story short I got some basic minimum wage job and that was at the car wash and gas station now while I was working there I also learned some English and finally with that I switched the job for like maintenance help and that was in some huge tow truck companies I saw all these big rigs coming besides of course all the cars I'm talking about the big tractor trailers coming to the yard so I've started to wonder how cool would that be to go on the road and drive one of these big trucks so of course I made the CDL license and finally after trying for a month and a half I got some job offer and for the first time in my life started to drive these big trucks now of course in the beginning I was driving with another driver all the time obviously I was a rookie so therefore the secondary driver however just a little bit later with some experience I became totally a solo driver and it was maybe a little bit harder but also better because nobody was telling me when I can stop the truck when I can take the shower when to eat and etc I think you get the point now this truck driving job was really nice in the beginning because I used to see a lot of different places and even though mostly I would just see the big cities pretty much through the window of the truck not really entering the cities but it was still a lot of fun driving through all the states. Now I wish I could say this job was fun all the time and I enjoy it for years to come. However just after 8 or 9 months instead of enjoying what I was doing I got really tired of it because first of all I really didn't have any life besides being in the truck. Another thing is I I pretty much never had enough sleep and to make things even worse the company that hired me they were actually paying for the round trip meaning if I spent extra day waiting for the load in some warehouse I actually wasn't paid for this wasted time so after two years I switched to local driving and I drove the trucks locally for another about eight years or so until finally one fateful morning while I was trying to do some delivery in New Jersey the roads that time were kind of icy they were very slippery unfortunately some as SUV driver was driving recklessly he was going super fast lost control of the car and then swerved directly into my front wheels of the truck which actually caused me to lose control of my truck and then crossed three lanes of opposite direction traffic and finally I landed in the ditch so I was slightly injured but nothing broken thanks god I had some little pains in my back and my knee was hurting so I went to some little therapy for about two months or so and by the way that time I was already married for a few years to my wife and we also had one year old child at home now my wife was home with the baby all the time obviously and that time she was trying to lose some weight also so she decided to buy some Herbalife products and the only reason I'm actually telling you this is because it kind of at least indirectly connects to today's story so besides using the Herbalife products we actually started to sell them too we started to actually make some money because my wife had a lot of friends who also wanted to lose weight or be healthier generally so it was great now besides selling the products we started to build some little team of sellers if you will you know Herbalife is one of these multi-layer network companies if you will so it was all good in the beginning but it finally started to crash we couldn't really get any more sales some team members were quitting too so I guess you can say this opportunity 
opportunity was pretty much over. Now here is the important part. Even though we failed at this business, but it actually showed me for very first time in my life that there is some other ways to make money besides working for somebody or working for a regular weekly salary job. So okay, going back to the story, I really didn't want to drive the truck anymore. And yes, that accident maybe had something to do with it, but for most part, this job was very stressful. I was always driving in a lot of areas with traffic, so that accident wasn't the main reason I quit the trucking job, but I think it definitely pushed me over the limit. Now obviously we needed the income, so we both started to look for some job, and we figured whoever gets the job first, whether it's me or my wife, the other spouse of course will stay with the baby. I mean that was pretty much the plan, at least initially. So my wife actually found the job first, for pretty good money too, and when she started working the money was coming into the house, but we were still short with our finances, so I started to look for some part-time job too and I finally started to drive the car service and if you're not really familiar with what that is it's basically like a taxi or uber job except for we didn't have any app to book the rides or anything like that everything was done through a local base or dispatcher if you will so first me and my father we were sharing the car together but then I put my own car to the car service and I was making some money however we also had to pay for the babysitter so it was not really so much money left and additionally because I was driving so much the car always had some little mechanical problems or broken tire it had to be inspected all the time so basically there was a lot of extra cost in just trying to make this money so we figured I really have to do something else because this one doesn't pay off and my wife for some connection if you will helped me to finally find the union job that I was talking about in the beginning of the video which is a dormant slash porter job in one of the New York City buildings now to be very honest with you that job was kind of never for me until that time I never envisioned myself working as a doorman because I didn't think I would fit to that job but since I was accepted to the job especially for the night time and I'm gonna have nice benefits secondary health insurance for my family so I've said okay I'm gonna do this now first two to three weeks or so I was getting used to the job and there was actually a lot of work for me so not only I had to clean the lobby do all the recycling garbage and everything else but then at the end of my shift I still had to be the doorman and also when somebody buzzed the door in the building and that's through the entire night I had to quickly run to that door to open it so this job was definitely not easy even in the beginning but unfortunately the longer I stayed there it got even worse now while I was actually working in this job my son wanted to open the YouTube channel and I hesitated for a while but we finally did we opened his channel started to post some videos then a little bit more and while I was still working in this building in Manhattan I learned some video editing in Final Cut Pro so I helped my son to edit the videos and after about a year and a half of having the YouTube channel finally we were able to monetize the channel. Now coming back to my union with benefits job my manager aka the super of the building which is a Polish lady was literally pushing me to the limits she was always adding some additional things for me to do and consistently complaining I mean literally complaining about any single stupid thing you can imagine from little speck of dust somewhere to not being at the door at 6 a.m in the morning even though she knew I also had to deliver newspapers to the floor so it was super frustrating excuse me whose freaking papers are they mine or am I just trying to do the job I'm supposed to huh okay I digress but basically this job was causing me so much stress that even though I knew we needed the income and the job had all the benefits no matter what I just had to quit so finally after four years I just left now maybe that was not the best financial decision because like I said we needed the money but I just had to do it even if I have to figure the income out. I didn't even tell my wife about it originally until the last day before I quit. So now because I don't have the job and we needed the income and also the money from YouTube wasn't really that high yet and I was sharing some of the money with my son too. I was looking for some temporary part-time job solution and actually a friend of mine that was driving for some local delivery company pretty much knew that the boss is looking looking for some other drivers so I started to work part-time for that job until seven or eight months at which point I had no choice but I had to quit and that's because the schools were closed so I had to stay with my son because obviously my wife was making full-time salary now later I actually monetized my own YouTube channel and some of you know I also do Amazon or at least did it for a while and that actually provided really nice opportunity for me I was making really good income from Amazon at least for like about two years or so that's until 
until again it kind of started to crash. So look, even I don't have steady job with steady salary and I don't even have my own health insurance, regardless of all those things, I'm really happy I quit that union job in Manhattan because now even though my income goes up and down, but not only nobody tells me what to do every day, but I can actually focus on what I like to do and basically stay creative making my own videos and keep creating our life in the way. Look, for full disclaimer, that wouldn't be possible if my wife obviously didn't have full-time income and that's only the reason I can actually do this right now. And of course, I'm hoping that one day creating these videos can bring me full-time income as well. Okay, first I wanna thank you for watching to the end and please tell me what you think about the story. I'd be interested to know. And as always, thank you for watching.